going to share with you like 10 things that I consider to be life changing, which I realize sounds completely dramatic, but every single one of these things has really affected my life and made things either better for my health, better for my skin, better for my hair, one of those things. So I wanted to share them with you today. If you're new here though, I really hope that you will consider subscribing. I am a master esthetician and I absolutely love sharing things that might help our skin, help our health. This year I turned 50 and I am super excited to be into like wellness and longevity. So if you're into all of that, then I do hope you will consider subscribing before you go. Okay, let's get into it. Let's start with a fun one. One. Now, this is something that has been around for like 15 years, but I never gave it a second look because my skin didn't really warrant it. And it is the Mali. This is the face defender. So here's the deal with this. This is, mine's going to look kind of gross, you guys, because I use it every single day. This is like a solid jelly compact. I know it looks gross. I'm going to explain that a little bit because I want to give a little caveat. It's like a solid jelly. And what you do is you use the sponge that comes with it. Mine's dirty because I've used it. Um, recently and you use the sponge that comes with it but you press the sponge into the jelly and then you press it onto your skin and it literally takes away every bit of oil and shine and it gives you this poreless just mattified perfected look without giving you the powdery look without adding the you know additional look of more makeup because for me as a dry skinned person I pile on the skincare and then I will put on my makeup and sometimes what happens is I actually end up looking a little too shiny. I like the look because I'm dry skinned and I feel like it looks, you know, hydrated, but sometimes it actually does look a little bit too shiny. And what this does is it just takes that down. I also really think this is beautiful on bare skin. It looks so great over my dermatology universal tinted moisturizer when I want kind of a no makeup sort of makeup you know day because that tinted moisturizer is my favorite but it is super sheer so it's not like it's makeup this over that creates this perfect canvas that looks slightly tinted and then looks perfected it's so gorgeous and here's the deal the reason why I didn't clean it up is because I did notice that one day when I opened it the jelly had stuck to the lid or the mirror and so when I opened it back up I kind of had to open it back up and then I had to push this back down so that did happen and I wanted to let you know about that because um just because if it happens to you, I can still use the product. It just doesn't look quite as good. And, um, you know, like I said, I kind of pressed that back in and hopefully it was just a malfunction of my particular compact and won't be across the board, but I wanted to let you know about that. Okay. Next thing we're going to talk about is another kind of makeup-y type of item and it is the Pixie Corrector. I have to say a big thank you to my friend Tamara. She has a YouTube channel here. I will link it down below. She uses this all the time. And I finally, I was in Target one day and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna pick that up and try it out. And she is right, it is so fantastic. It looks like this. It is a peachy pink color, comes in this little tiny pot. And basically what it is, is it's an under eye corrector. Now, if you're not familiar with what a corrector is, basically what it does is it counterbalances darkness under your eyes, or in my case, especially in the inner corner. I'm really, really dark in this inner corner. So what you can do with a color corrector is that you just put a little brush into here and I bounce it into these corners. And all that happens is it takes that darkness and it takes this color and it brings it to a neutral place. Now I wanted to share with you also though that I picked up one from Jillian Dempsey. This is her corrector and it's called Spot Stick Concealer and it's in the color number four. This is another one that is very similar to that Pixie corrector and the reason why I like this one, I like both of these, is that this one is so travel friendly. I have this one in my purse all the time because it is so tiny. You can see it's literally like the size of my pinky and it's fantastic. It is also kind of a peachy color. It's a little bit more of a skin tone peachy color, like my skin tone peachy color, obviously. There are darker color correctors if you have darker skin than me. So if you have darker skin than me, you can go a further into salmon, and then darker than that, you can go all the way to orange and even red. So color theory is good for all skin tones, 
you just want to match the depth of the color corrector to the depth of the darkness. So you want it as dark as the darkness, and then you can go over with a brightening concealer if you want to. So this one is the number four from Jillian Dempsey. I love this one too. It is a soft matte, and I think it is absolutely perfect, not just for touching up on the go underneath the eyes, but it's perfect for touching up anywhere on the face that you might feel like you need a little bit of um, correction. You know, you have maybe midday, you notice that some of your makeup or your sunscreen or whatever has worn off. These little sticks are fantastic. I got it in color number four because I wanted the corrector, but I also picked it up in color number six. I carry the two of them in my purse because they're so tiny, and they're great for on-the-go touch-ups. They're also really nice if you don't want to wear any makeup, but you have a few different things that you like to cover, you know, like you want to put on your uh, sunscreen, let's say your tinted sunscreen, and then you have just a couple things that you'd like to cover, but you don't want to go on full on foundation. These little sticks are really, really great for that too. You can apply and just use your fingers and they look fantastic. Now I shared a long time ago, the boo-boo, um, the boo-boo cover up. You guys, I have not stopped. I use this every day. I will put the tiniest little dab on the back of my hands and I use a pointed brush and I go through and if I have any little tiny pimple or little tiny spot that is more along the lines of an irritation, inflammation, or pimple kind of thing, this is what I go for because it has a little bit of clay in there. It has some healing um, ingredients in there that help to heal while it conceals. This is so good. I shared this, I think, in like a new discoveries or something. And I just wanted to do a little follow up and let you know that this has been absolutely indispensable in my entire um, routine. I absolutely love it. So I will carry these in my purse with me and I just have them for touch ups. Okay, moving on to a sunscreen that you guys recommended to me that has absolutely been a game changer and it is the Beauty of Josun. I hope I say that right this time, Beauty of Josun. This is their Relief Sun, I believe it's called. Yeah, Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 PA++++. Looks like this. You can see that I have used a ton of this puppy. Now, here's the thing, you guys. I, You guys recommended this to me when I did my Beauty of Josen the eye cream video. And I still, that eye cream is, I love it so much. I love that eye cream so much that when I went on a spring break vacation with my family, I took that as my under eye cream, obviously, and I also used it a couple times as my whole face retinoid at night. I was like, why not? It's so, so good. Anyway, I picked this up and I took this on vacation with me too, and it is absolutely glorious. You were totally right. It is such a good sunscreen. It is very, very affordable, and it's beautiful. Here's the deal with this one, though. For me and for any of my friends out there who are mature skin or if you are dry skin or if you have dehydrated skin, it is kind of a lightweight really, really lightweight gel cream type of consistency. And on its own, it is absolutely not enough moisture for me. In fact, when I would wear this just over, you know, a daytime lightweight moisturizer, I felt like my skin was actually a little bit dry. So in the very beginning, I was kind of like, oh no, that's not going to work for me. It's going to be too dry. What I have figured out is that if I apply this over a moisturizer that is a little bit more moisturizing, one that I already use and love but don't always use during the day, it is like a match made in heaven. So what I've been doing is I've actually been using my Dermatology Soothe and Recovery, which is, you know, it packs a punch. It has ceramides in there. It has all kinds of barrier supportive ingredients, really, really hydrating, really moisturizing, beautifully creamy and silky and just lovely and it's actually pretty affordable you get a lot of it and i love it soothe and recovery kind of implies that it's only as a recovery product but it's actually a beautiful everyday moisturizer looks like this and you can tell it's got just a little i hope you can tell a little bit more emollients it's a little bit more I don't know, it's, it's just more nourishing to the skin. When I wear this one, and then I put the Beauty of Josun over it, it is seriously such a beautiful combination. So if you own this, or if you own any moisturizer that you think is maybe 
a little bit, um, I don't want to say heavy, but it's a little bit more nourishing than you normally wear during the day. And you have a sunscreen that is actually a little bit more lightweight and almost too lightweight for you. Try combining them. I don't put them in my hand together and put them on. I put this on first, of course, give it a minute to kind of soak in. And then I put this on as my last step before I go on with my makeup. If I wear makeup that day, but it's such a good combination. This sunscreen, I just have to say thank you so much for everyone who recommended it. You were not wrong. It is absolutely beautiful. It's time for me to reorder one because I'm down well over half. So beautiful product from the brand. Okay, the next thing is going to be something that I saw on Dr. Zion's Instagram. I will try and link that down below. Anyway, she's got a fantastic Instagram. I follow her and I love her recommendations. She's also super funny and um, she's just a brilliant doctor with so much good content. Well, I saw one of her reels one day where she was using a gua sha that looked like this. And it intrigued me. I actually had never really seen a gua sha that looked like this. This is ceramic. Now, the reason why I'm telling you that this is life changing is that I actually feel like this does a much better job than my traditional gua sha's, which is kind of crazy. I am 100% team gua sha. I do it every single day. And I have been reaching for this ever since it arrived every day every day over my other gua sha's. Now, of course, I will use those other gua sha's if I combine them with microcurrent or whatever because they're stainless steel. This is so nice because you grip it like this. I feel like for so many of the people out there watching who maybe have a hard time holding on to gua sha, the traditional version, for a very long time, this will be a game changer. It, it allows me to do a much longer treatment because ergonomically, I don't know, it's just easy to hold on to. I'm able to sit and do my neck for a long time comfortably. I don't feel like I'm holding this tool kind of awkwardly so I can sit and do it here and then it's serrated on this side here. And what I love about that is there's a ball at the top and a ball at the bottom, and then this part serrated. Now you can of course hold it this way too for this flat side, ball here, ball here. I love to hold it this way primarily because this ball fits right into my eye socket. This one goes almost to my jawline and all of this lines up right here. And the reason why that is so life-changing is that we have a ton of lymph nodes right here. And if we can really easily get some movement, some lymphatic drainage in here before we pull it out to the side, we can get a really super effective lymphatic drainage treatment. It is so perfect for that, that I find I'm able to sit and mindlessly do a gua sha treatment with both hands. I can switch it to my left hand, which I am right-handed, and I feel like it's not awkward. I feel like I can sit and do the treatment, whereas with the regular gua sha, definitely sometimes with my left hand, I feel super awkward because it's not my dominant hand. Because it's ceramic, I will say that if I'm doing this in the shower, which I do, I am slightly concerned that someday I will drop it and break it. That definitely has crossed my mind, and I'm sure it has crossed your mind as well as you're watching this. So what I did was I went ahead and I ordered one, actually ordered more than one. I ordered one in a stainless steel. So it looks like this, right? And I have to tell you that, yeah, this is good for like in the um, bath because I can keep getting it cold and then I can get a cold gua sha treatment, but I don't like this as much as I like the ceramic. The ceramic is just so good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link this one down below, but basically go and look at all of the options because maybe something else will resonate more with you than this one or even this one. It's a whole category of gua sha that I didn't even realize existed and it's definitely worth a look. Now I'm pretty sure that the one that Dr. Zion used is from Beauty of Joseon, but I went on Amazon and just bought one there because I'm impatient and I wanted it to come, you know, like prime delivery like two days later. So this one is just so good, you guys. It's so good. Okay, next we're gonna talk about a hair product that is absolutely life-changing and I think it's amazing. It is by IGK and it is called Antisocial. This is their time release bond building dry mask. This is such an interesting and unique product. You basically spray it on dry hair. I usually do like day three, day four with this one. 
And the reason why I use this is on those days I am using dry shampoo at my roots to kind of collect up oil, to help my hair feel cleaner, all of that stuff. But a lot of times what's happening is my mid strands to my ends feel kind of dry and dull and they don't look great. This is basically a dry mask that you leave on. When I put it on, it is not dry, it's not powdery like a dry shampoo, but it's also not um, waxy, it's not heavy, it's not sticky, and it's not greasy. It does leave your hair really, really soft. So on those days, you may not be able to get as long of a curl hold or something like that because your hair gets very silky with it. I try not to go overboard with it because the one thing that is absolutely worth noting is that it has a very strong smell. The smell is kind of like a um, green, like um, green tea-ish, and then a dry, almost green coconut smell. Like when you smell coconut lime or something like that, it's that kind of coconut, not the milky coconut, but the kind of coconut verbena smell. I like the smell, I think it's nice, but it's pretty strong. So if you are somebody who that doesn't sound like a smell that you would like, you may not like this. But what's really great about this is I definitely feel like it is helping with the mid strands to ends, the hair health. I really, really think that it's helping to keep the split ends at bay. It's helping my hair to grow not because it makes my hair grow or anything, but because it helps with breakage. So as my hair grows, I'm able to see the length because it's not breaking off at the end. So this has been one of those game changers. Now I have it in travel size because I actually buy this at the beauty supply and they were sold out. They've been like, they sell out. And when I went in, they had just two travel sizes left. She said, we can't keep that on the shelf. So I got this one and I come to check back until I can find the full size. So that's IGK Time Release Bond Building Dry Mask. Skin. Let's talk about the Dermalect Self-Esteem Beauty Sleep Serum. This is such a cool product, you guys. It is glycolic acid, salicylic acid, and L-ascorbic acid. So that's a vitamin C. That's the real form of vitamin C, the potent form. Now, here's the deal with this. This is a nighttime product that is gonna help with pores. It's gonna help with clarity. It's gonna help with oil production. It is definitely going to help with hyperpigmentation and overall just kind of glow because of those ingredients. This is not something that I would normally even purchase. I bought a bunch of stuff from the Dermalect brand because I'm going to do an entire um, brand overview. And so I decided I'll get that too. I'll just try it. This is probably, there are about three or four things from the brand that to me are like superstars. There's a few things that I didn't like and I will definitely share that when I do the brand overview. This is one of the standouts, and the reason for that is when I use it, which is only once or twice a week at night, I don't use it a ton, um, otherwise it would definitely irritate my skin, it is potent. When I wake up the next day, I definitely feel like my skin looks brighter, my pores look more refined. It's really about the clarity, the brightness, and the pores. It's, it's hard to describe, but it really does do something overnight to the surface of your skin. And I really, really like it. And it's one of those things that is unexpected. I would not have thought that I would like it. I am typically a vitamin C, um, alpha hydroxy acids, all of that stuff in the morning type of person. So this is a different thing for me because I use it one or two nights a week in place of my retinoid or any of that other stuff and it does make a big difference. I think that it would make a big difference if you are somebody who has enlarged pores, if you are somebody who is kind of lackluster, or you know you lack glow, or you feel like your skin just is missing something, this might be helpful for you. And again, it is not an every single night product in my opinion. If you have oily skin, you might be able to get away using this maybe three nights a week, maybe four, but I still wouldn't use it every single night because I would want you to be using your retinoids also. And so this is just a replacement a couple times a week. Anyway, love it. This is definitely a game changer for me and um, I, I'm surprised by it. I ordered a bunch of stuff from this brand because I was kind of testing out self tanners and all of that stuff before we went on spring break. And one of the things that absolutely blew me away was the, the brand is Lux Unfiltered. It looks like this. And this is the number 10 Blurring Body Glow. Okay. 
I tried their self tanners, which I actually, the mousse self tanner, crazy, was too dark for me. I, I wore it and I got actually too dark, which was crazy. I'm still team Coco and Eve as far as the um, self tanning mousse. That's still my all time favorite, the Sunny Honey. It's just the perfect self tanning mousse. But the um, Lux Unfiltered, their self tanning mousse, if you like a really, really dark tan, then you might like that one. It was too dark for me, for my skin. I, I looked, um, it wasn't orange, I just looked too dark. Anyway, this though is a blurring body moisturizer that has in it some neutral tones, it looks like this, and basically what happens is you put it on and you have to give it about five minutes to dry down, and once it dries down, it's pretty transfer resistant. I mean, I wouldn't wear an entire white outfit with this, but I definitely didn't notice that it was all over the inside of my clothes. As long as I put it on and I gave it time to dry down, it just gives you this kind of tanned, blurred, sort of perfected finish to your body skin. It is beautiful on the decollete, on the shoulders, on the arms, on the front of my thighs when we were on vacation because I can self tan and everything, but this kind of adds that blurring and just a hint more color with a little bit of luminosity. So you get the luminosity and you get the blurring all at once and it's absolutely beautiful. I definitely am excited about this going into the summer because it's one of those products that washes off the next day or whenever you shower, it will wash off. So it's not a self tanner. It is fragrance free. It also has some skincare in there. So it's got some vitamin C, it has some shea, it has some other ingredients that are gonna nurture your skin, help with antioxidant protection, etc while it's kind of giving you that perfected, blurred, slightly tanned look. Okay, the next thing is a supplement that I think could help a lot of people, and it is a liposomal magnesium. Now this one is from Sim, Sim, oh man, Sim, Symbiotica. I, you know, I see the name all the time, but I'm not, not exactly sure how to say it. Symbiotica, Symbiotica maybe. That's probably what it is, Symbiotica. Anyway, this is their magnesium, their liposomal magnesium. I have been taking magnesium liposomal form from Live On forever and I love it. The deal with that one though is that I have to dump it into a little bit of water and I shoot it. No problem, that's not a big deal. This one though doesn't require any water and it tastes absolutely delectable. It is vanilla cream and it is yummy. So what I do now is I am taking this one every night sometime before bed and it really can help with sleep. So if you are somebody who, you know, you have a hard time sleeping, maybe you're in perimenopause like me, I'm like all guns are out for supplements, etc., for helping me with sleep, for helping my heart rate variability, for helping my stress levels, for helping um, leg cramps. All of that stuff is like on my mind now. And magnesium is one of those things that can really help. A lot of us are deficient in magnesium. A lot of us could use magnesium to balance our calcium, our potassium, all of that kind of stuff. And so I just recommend looking into this. Of course, you should talk to your doctor. You should do all the things that you should. This is not medical advice or anything. I just wanted to direct your attention to this because until I found this one from this brand, which I bought myself, um, I ordered it myself. In fact, I'm on a subscription with them now. I am on a subscription with this one and also their vitamin. C. And again, I still love my live on vitamin C. I still have several boxes of that. This is just nice because it doesn't require any water. You literally rip this off and you take it and it tastes good. I am trying one from Peak also, the brand Peak, um, because they have one that is elderberry and vitamin C and um, no water needed. You just take it. I love that. Anything that makes taking vitamins and minerals and supplements easier means that I am more likely to actually do it regularly, which just like skincare, consistency is everything, just really staying on top of all of that nutrition. So these are, these are truly life-changing in my opinion. They are, they make it easy for you to get what you need and that's everything. So that is sim, sim, Symbiotica, Symbiotica, sheesh. Okay, the last thing you guys is a weird thing. You're gonna have to bear with me on this one. I am researching a bunch, oral health and skin. Now we know that our oral health is linked to our heart health, 
but it is also actually linked to our skin health. And so I'm doing a really big deep dive. And in that, I've come across some research and I'm gonna share this in another video about like tongue scraping and you know brushing and flossing and all of that stuff. So I wanted to share with you a tongue scraper that I bought on Amazon that is definitely well under $10. And um, it's amazing. It's by doc the brand Dr. Tongues, which Dr. Tongues actually has several different things that I really, really like for um, brushing your teeth for oral care. This is just so easy. I have now gotten one of these for my husband. I've gotten one for my daughter. And if you don't know, scraping your tongue after you've brushed, I usually brush with my toothbrush and then I will finish with a tongue scraper, is so good because it helps to just clear off some of the gunk that's there. It will help your breath. It helps your oral health. It will help your heart health ultimately. And it will help your skin as well. So this little five, six, seven dollar tool, if you add it into your daily, oral care routine, I am telling you there's only benefits. That's all. There is. There are only benefits that can come from that. And if you didn't know about tongue scraping, definitely just look into it. I know it sounds gross. It's really, really satisfying. It leaves your mouth feeling so much more fresh than if you didn't do it. And it definitely elongates the fresh mouth feeling through the day. So you don't feel gross as fast later. I know that that's probably oversharing, but it's really, really a fantastic little life-changing tool for sure. There's lots of these on the market. I've tried many. I just happen to really like this one. It does a really good job. I think it's super fun to share, and I learned so much from you guys in the comments. I mean, some of these things are absolutely because of you and your comments, and I will screenshot them and go off and check into things and then pick things up, and then I reshare them for everyone else. So thank you so much for commenting and sharing your ideas with me. I appreciate it. I hope you have a really wonderful week and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.